Democracy is defined by four key principles. One is the ability of citizens to participate in their governance. The second is the extent for which citizens are able to enjoy their civil and political rights. The third aspect is the rule of law in the country, which guarantees the protection of fundamental rights and freedoms. And the fourth aspect is the civic space, the environment through which citizens are enjoying their fundamental rights and are able to influence and determine the way they want to be governed. If you assess Uganda on these four key principles of democracy, you find that the space is closing in Uganda. The extent of participation of citizens in their governance is constrained by the involvement of the military, by high levels of brutality, to the extent that in the last elections, we experienced kidnaps, we experienced disappearances, and as per the parliamentary record today, there are a number of people that are still unaccounted for and nobody knows their whereabouts and their families are still looking for them from as far as November 2020 at the, at the height of killings in Kampala. If you assess civic space in Uganda, we have attacks on civic organizations with the latest being the closure or suspension of 54 civil society organizations. We have arbitrary acts of the Financial Intelligence Authority, which closes bank accounts of organizations as well as employees of these organizations without following the due process of the law. We have also physical and cyber trailing of civic actors in the country. The political actors have been curtailed with limited or no funding that does not enable them to mobilize and, and sell their political agenda to the citizens or the alternative agenda for citizens to, in, in an informed way, choose how they want to be governed. The last attack is on the rule of law with attempts to remove bail in an attempt where the regime will be arresting its critics and they want the judiciary to deny them bail for at least six months. And this is the latest proposal that is headed to Parliament for a constitutional amendment that will greatly reverse our, the protection of civil liberties by the judiciary in Uganda. So basically, civic space is closing, participation in democracy is highly constrained, and the military has usurped the functions of many of the institutions of governance that would protect and safeguard democracy in Uganda.